initiate movement in for seven. So clock is on. Seven seconds each direction is the ideal tempo. A half second pause. We're working those external rotators or the eversion. You'll pause one, heading back out. Give your best effort. The rotation should be at the heel. You should not be externally rotating your limb, lower limb, or your knee. It's just that ankle, right? Hi everyone, and welcome to the MS Workouts YouTube channel. My name is Jeff Gott, and in today's video, I'm going to help you reduce your foot drop using our science-based steady pace exercise technique. Use the clock on the screen to notate when you can no longer execute the exercises with proper form and slow tempo. That's success. The goal of each exercise is not to beat the clock, okay? The goal is for you to reach muscle failure successfully before the 90 seconds is up. And the clock is there to help you notate that so that you can see your progress from effort to effort. Before we begin reducing your foot drop today, I'm excited to announce that Dr. Tyler Sesco, co-founder and inventor of the Cadence Shoes, will be hosting a special live presentation on the MS Workouts YouTube channel next Tuesday, June 25th at 11 a.m. U.S. Central Time or 12 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. Cadence offers adaptable shoes for people with walking difficulties, which I know a lot of you watching deal with. If you want to receive links to this event to make it easy for you, then I recommend you go to www.msworkouts.com and sign up for our weekly newsletter. That way, you'll get the link to the live presentation several hours in advance so you can easily join us when we go live with Dr. Tyler Susco to learn more about his adaptive shoes. Let's begin by executing the dorsiflexion metabolic steady pace set, or isometric. We're gonna start off by taking your foot to the starting position. Now, if you need to use a towel or a resistance band to help assist yourself to the starting position, please feel free to do so. The starting position is going to be as much flexion out of the ankle as possible, okay? What we're going to do is take yourself as high as you can into as much flexion as possible. You will attempt to hold that foot in that position. Give the resistance of the foot back to the anterior tibialis and hold it in place, okay? Clock is on. Now, we are working the anterior tibialis. It is a static hold. We're locked in place with that toe raised as high as possible. You may only have the functioning or the ability to slightly lift toe or forefoot off the ground. That's perfectly fine. The key here is to reach muscle failure. And what you are looking to measure is the point at which the foot or the toe starts to fall or lower from that original spot. So be very deliberate about understanding and notating where the original static hold or spot is of that exercise, okay? As soon as you start to lose the ability to hold in that position, you are going to notate the time that's on the clock on the screen. The Balance Series powered by MS Workouts is designed by our team of top medical professionals and exercise physiologists in the field of MS and similar autoimmune conditions. Each drill in the series will challenge you to maintain your balance through a collection of targeted movements that stimulate your vestibular system and prompt neuroplasticity. Every drill contains several different levels that you can progress through so you can continue to gain results and challenge yourself. In combination with the weekly updated full body fundamental workouts and stretch classes, our clients are able to improve their balance, decrease spasticity, and increase their overall body strength. The Balance Series is only available to members of the Steady Pace Club. So if you want to take a truly comprehensive and science-based approach to restoring your balance, then just go to www.msworkouts.com to join one of our membership plans. Hope to see you at the club so that we can help you restore your balance, strength, and independence. You're going to remember that time and continue to give your very best effort for the remainder of this exercise. Why? Because that's going to allow you to be measured and allow you to ensure that you're giving yourself the progressive overload that you need. We're heading past the 60 second mark and into the exhaust range. I know it's burning, fatiguing, you may be feeling a shake right now. If you've already reached muscle failure successfully, great job, you did it. 
Make sure you notate the time, then keep giving your best effort. That's what exercise is all about, challenging the muscle during the exercise. Final 15 seconds, no matter what, to reach muscle failure. If you haven't reached muscle failure yet, lift that toe, actively squeeze and engage. No more than five, four, three, lift, engage, two, one, 90 seconds, completed, slowly lowering and disengaging. I completed the exercise. Didn't quite reach muscle failure, but I completed it. It is time to record your outcome. As I mentioned during the exercise, you need to make sure you're recording the outcome. If you haven't downloaded the PDF progress journal that's below, please do so. Or at least get some type of a scrap piece of paper to record your results. What you're gonna be recording is the resistance that you used. So I used body weight. This is the dorsiflexion metabolic or isometric set. And I'm writing 130 because I completed the exercise. They made it through the entire 130. If you successfully reached muscle failure, you're going to notate the time that you saw on the clock when you could no longer hold the foot in that original position. If you completed the exercise, as I mentioned, leave a comment in the comment box below because now we need to talk about how to challenge the muscle, the anterior tibialis, and progressively overload the body. Because the goal isn't to complete it. The goal is to reach muscle failure every time, be measured, and then progressively be able to increase the difficulty as you gain results. We'll now execute the ankle eversion exercise to help reduce that foot drop. This is going to be an external rotation of the leg, really working the external rotators, a little bit of the anterior tibialis. I highly suggest you place either a sheet of paper underneath your foot, take your shoe off so it's just your sock. We wanna reduce the friction of the bottom of your foot so that you're able to move through that range as efficiently as possible to let the muscle work. All right, you're gonna follow me to the starting position. We're executing a dynamic technique set. The starting position is extended or externally rotated all the way out. Now, you take the range your body allows you to have. You may not be able to externally rotate as far as I did. That's perfectly fine if you can't go as far out from an external rotation standpoint as you can. Initiate movement in for seven. So clock is on. Seven seconds each direction is the ideal tempo. A half second pause. We're working those external rotators or the eversion. You'll pause one, heading back out. Give your best effort. The rotation should be at the heel. You should not be externally rotating your limb, lower limb, or your knee. It's just that ankle, right? Heading back across. Next effort's gonna take us past 30 seconds. Muscle failure's the goal. On this exercise, that will be the point where you can no longer continue through that original full range without disengaging or relaxing. The second that you have to disengage or relax or you start to lose the ability to go slowly through a full range, notate the time that's on the clock here on the screen. That allows you to be measured. Being measured in exercise is super important because it gives you the map to results. Squeeze, heading back the other way. We just passed that 45 second mark. Remind yourself why you're doing this, right? We want increased function. We want to decrease that foot drop, which it will happen by facilitating the neuromuscular engagement in the particular area, being consistent, applying a progressive overload, you will see results. I'm continuing to rock and roll. I'm fatiguing here. We're going past that 60 second mark already. Next effort's taking us past the 115 mark. We're in the exhaust range, final 30 seconds. Again, muscle failure is the goal, so be very intent on understanding when you can no longer move slowly through that full range. All right, final effort, going past the 130 mark with this effort here. So last opportunity to reach muscle failure. Think about rotating at the heel. Don't externally rotate the knee as far as you can and completed, right? Slowly disengaging. It is that time. It is the time to record your results. Yes, we are sticklers about it because it's an important piece of the puzzle. So ankle eversion, make sure you write down the exercise. It was a dynamic set, so it's important to know what mode we executed. We're gonna write down the time that you made it to. So again, I completed the exercise. I'm writing down 130. What does that mean? It means I need to increase the difficulty. Hopefully you reached muscle failure. If you did, you're gonna notate what time was on the clock when you got to the point where you could not continue with proper form slow motion through a full range. Last but not least, we're gonna write the resistance that we used, which we used body weight today. If you completed the exercise like I did, leave me a comment in the comment box below so that we can engage you and talk about the next steps in increasing the difficulty, which is key in exercise, okay? So that we continue to prompt the best results in reducing this foot drop. Just a reminder, execute the exercises from this foot drop exercise session on both legs. Don't play favorites. 
It's important to have your entire body strong, whether it is the side that's affected or not. So execute these on the left side and the right side. Our YouTube channel is a great place to start gaining strength, but if you want to get serious about reducing your symptoms and getting results, then you need to be on a weekly structured strength training program with other individuals just like you. And that's exactly what we offer at MS Workouts through our membership. Click the link in the video or below the video to learn how our membership can help you achieve your goals. And while you're on the website, make sure you sign up for the no cost seven day strength camp so you can experience how we can help you do the things that you love to do with more confidence. See you all next week.